let's calm down everybody. <laughs> thank, thank you so much for a great introduction, sort of. Yeah, so, you know, it, it, before I start, so sort of has made me a little bit emotional by saying a few words about a personal journey, the way we started and the way, you know, we've actually overcome all the challenges that have come our way, right? So, in today's journey, all right, just give me a second. I'll just set this up. Just a second. Okay, so let's get back here. Even before I start, I would like to know certain things from you, right? And rather, rather not rather know about it, but rather say this to you. You know, I know each one of you sitting right here. Though I have not interacted with you ever, okay, but I know you. You know why? Because you raised your hand and you said that I'm an action taker and you're sitting here today in this room. So that is how I know you. I see myself in you. Three years back when we started our journey, I left my job. And you know, we, me and Saurabh, you know, stood up and said we are action takers and we, and we were at an event organized by Manmeet, perhaps he's also one of the speakers here, in their domaining industry, and we were right there. So that's how I recognize you. That's how I connect with you, all right? So let's go and hear a little bit about me, since there are a lot of people whom I'm interacting with for the first time, okay? So the time I started, uh, it was like really, really long back. It was in 2013 when I started my first blog by the name geekotech.com, okay? So I've been a blogger from very long time, for almost like now seven years I've been consistently blogging. And even before that we did ilvid.com, if sort of uh, must have remembered. So we used to do ilvid.com back in 2010. And from there, uh, the passion for blogging initiated. Okay, so the journey started when sort of actually introduced me to an MLM opportunity which was about selling websites to people. And that was back in 2010, okay? That's how our journey started. And from there, uh, my particular part where, you know, the websites actually attracted me a lot. The part of making the websites instead of selling them. So that's how I got started. I went, to it, I went into it, you know, and I started making websites, different kinds of things. And then one fine day while we were working for this particular, MLM venture. Uh, so I happened to incidentally put Google AdSense on my website. Back then it was gaurabuzz.info. And then, uh, you know, I used a pretty clever strategy at that time, which was like, you know, I went to omegle.com, which is actually a, a, a text chatting website, you could say that. And from there, I was used to drive traffic to my gaurabuzz.info website. And people used to come there and they used to click on the banner ads and I used to make money. Okay, so I never really made money in that manner because I was clickbaiting at that time. Uh, but hua kya ki ham logo ne jab dekha do din baad jab maine ye sab kara do din baad dekha to it was almost ninety eight dollars jo mere Google AdSense ke account mein thi. Okay, so and like Saurabh and Nishant was there and they said ki party karte hai, maza a gaya, ye ho gaya ho gaya. Because you know, imagine you you're a college student and you just started something and in two days you're at ninety eight dollars. Imagine that feeling inside you. Right? So, Mujayajvi Adha Hamne Samose Khaye Te. That's how we party. <laughs> and next day, Mere Paas Ek Google Se Mail Aya. Uh, that your account has been suspended or temporarily blocked. <laughs> so, that is the moment where I said, yes, I want to explore this more. Because if in two days I can do this, perhaps imagine the kind of things I would be able to do if I put 20 years into it or perhaps 20 days, from two days to 20 days is also pretty good ROI, right? So I went ahead uh, to study marketing in one of uh, very prestigious MBA colleges, which is NMIMS, Narsi Munji, Hyderabad. 
and to my surprise there was nobody in that entire uh, two years of my circle who was teaching digital marketing. We got introduced to digital marketing as a subject, uh, you know, almost like after four trimesters. There were six trimesters in total in two years, and four trimesters we got in, were introduced to the subject. So back in 2013, there wasn't much awareness, and there wasn't much, I mean, there wasn't a lot of people who were actually training, uh, you know, people about digital marketing or helping them to learn. So that is where the, the part, you know, where I wanted to build a community which is so good that it thrives in itself and I put all my effort into building such communities where I'm able to help people, uh, you know, go ahead and learn the skill set which I craved for back in time. Suppose that now currently I blog actively on gauravmadan.com. I, I blog, I do podcasting and then I do a lot of webinars as well. So I've been a trainer uh, in the SIM. If anybody, anybody from the SIM? Knows me from the SM days. So, so there's still a couple of people, a couple of my mentees who are sitting here from the SM days back in 2013 to 15. So those were the two years that actually turned around my life because I went into complete training mode and I actually studied every possible part of digital marketing. So after that, what happened? Uh, you know, my story continued when Saurabh came over and uh, we started doing a first particular course. Uh, it was internet profits. So that was the first course we ever did. And uh, it's, it was an amazing course. We've got brilliant case studies with that. It was into local consulting niche. Okay. And then from there, just as we have done more and more projects, we have done a lot of opportunities that we are here Right. So I'm a marketer from heart. Okay. Really a marketer, like a nerd marketer, you could say that. I love numbers, analytics. And uh, I'm the co-founder of Geekotech and Hyunan. That's the two companies which I've formulated. Okay, so both of them actually have uh, touched a million dollar mark. So I have one in Geekotech, my partner is Saurabh, and in Hyunan, my partner is Roshni. So that's the current journey. And my hobbies are I play guitar. I love to play guitar, and I travel a lot. I prefer traveling. So that's a little bit about me. Okay, let's go forward. And let's talk about uh, today's topic. So today's topic is affiliate marketing, and we're going to be talking about the strategies which I use to make the minim to make minimum ten thousand dollars per month as profit in affiliate marketing. Okay, so that's the topic for today. Now, how many of you kn you know actually are aware about the term affiliate marketing? Perhaps. <laughs> okay, so, uh, all right, let's, let's get into the deeper part of affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing, you know, if we look at the definition right now, it says a method to earn millions of dollars sitting at home. Something that Nishkarsh and Siddharth was talking, talking about, we're talking about, and you know, it's actually, People think that affiliate marketing is a money-making machine, or rather any online business is a money-making machine. But that's, that's a myth which has been already busted, right? So we'll move forward, and we'll talk about how this works. Okay, so affiliate marketing works in a very basic manner. There are three parties involved. First party being an advertiser who needs more business, who needs more sales, more leads, okay? Anything which can help which can help actually accelerate their business growth, right? So that's an advertiser. Second person who's there into this particular model is the publisher. We call it the publisher or also the affiliate. Somebody who has an asset, okay, has an asset in terms of his email list here or, or he has a website or he has some form of traffic or a social media page which he wants to monetize, okay, which he wants to monetize. Now, when you look at these two parties, you can see that one person wants more business and second person has the capability to give business, right? So there is a third party in between to, to actually model this entire structure. There's a third party which is called a network, which is called an affiliate network, okay? So these three parties in combined formulate a particular environment in which this transaction happens, okay? So the advertiser would give Advertiser would actually go ahead and give them the offers to promote. 
the affiliate would go ahead, affiliate or publisher would go ahead and promote the offers. And in between, there's a network which facilitates the entire transaction process. Or uske beech mein jo uh, affiliate network hai, he would take, take a commission, thoda bahut commission ke saath, you know, 5% commission from the every, every transaction which ever happens. So they keep, they keep it. So that's how the model works, okay? So I hope, is this clear? Yes. Pretty simple, right? So now let's talk about the types of offers. There are different kinds of offers in affiliate marketing. So we have CPC, we have CPL, we have CPS, and we have hybrid model. So when we talk about these things, like we have CPC means cost per click, okay? So there are interesting case studies which I'm gonna share with you as we speak. So CPL is cost per lead, CPS is cost per sale, and a hybrid model is a combination of leads and sales, okay? Now when we say cost per click, what does it mean? It means that whenever you send a click to the advertiser through your unique affiliate link, you have a unique affiliate link when you want to promote offer offer. So through your unique affiliate link, whenever you send a click to them, you get paid for it in terms of like, you know, let's say five rupees per click or uh, five cents per click, depending on offers to offers and networks to network, networks, this amount would vary, okay? Similarly, we have CPL. Now, L stands for lead. Lead means whenever somebody submits their information to inquire about something, that's actually called a lead, okay? So, for example, uh, you go ahead and you submit your name, email address, and mobile number to attend the communication mastery webinar. So that's a lead for, uh, you know, Rahul Bhatnagar, right? So that is when, now if, if a particular uh, business needs more leads, so you can, as an affiliate, send them leads, and in terms of each verified lead, you're paid money. Now when I say verified, there is a verification process, and the verification process would vary from offer to offer. Okay, like for example, if there is a loan offer, the verif verification process is going to be more brutal, right? And if it is a normal, you know, a email submit offer where just the person has to submit an email ID in exchange of certain information or perhaps for an inquiry, in that case, the verification is going to be less stringent. Come, usme verification hoti hai, okay? So that's CPL. So whenever you send a lead to the advertiser, your business, you actually get paid for it. Okay, so CPL could vary depending on the form size. Form ke andar kitni fields hai, thikhe, uske upar aapka CPL vary karta hai. Agar form ke andar fields zada hai, loan offer hai, usme hume paach pages bharne hote hai, right? So uh, that will actually give you like 250 rupees or 300 rupees per lead. Whereas if it is just like a two field form where you're just submitting name and email, us case mein aapko shayad uh, 15 rupees or 10 rupees per lead mein hai. Okay, so next is, Okay, so in the CPL case study, I, I remember uh, one case study which we, uh, which Saurabh did rather, and I was witnessing that. So there was an offer on V Commission. So now V Commission, uh, for all of you, V Commission is an affiliate network in India, uh, which is pretty popular, okay? So there you can go to that network and you can find offers to promote. So back in time, when uh, we guys were experimenting, so we start, uh, I remember that we did, uh, you know, in different, different uh, niches, we were trying certain things. So, sort of promoted one of the offers called Flirchi. Okay, Flirchi. So, Flirchi is, was into dating niche. Okay, and what we did, what we did is, uh, what he did rather, he, he made actually an ebook, ebook on relationships. Okay, <laughs> like you know, right, the youth. So, uh, and I still remember that the cost for signing up a boy was less, I mean, the, the amount, the payout, which we were getting for signing up a boy was uh, less, and for signing up a girl was more. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I, I, I'm not sure of the payout, but, but uh, so the idea behind there was that, I mean, making that ebook was to actually give information to people about relationships, which they crave for, and then actually show them a platform where they could actually go and further their journey into being into a relationship, right? So every time somebody read that ebook and clicked on that link and went to that particular page to sign up, who was getting benefited? 
Not sure if we found the one we was looking for, <laughs> but definitely we found what we were looking for. <laughs> yeah. So similarly, we have CPS. Now CPS, uh, you know, most of the times you'll see that anything which is uh, a transaction involving some form of money, you know, that's considered as a sale, right? So in this case, uh, let's let's assume a very simple example. You all, you all of you are affiliates of, let's say. Saurabh Bhatnagar University, or you know, one of our programs, which is Affiliator. Now, anytime you make a sale of that particular program, okay, or a product for that matter, you get paid certain amount of commissions. For example, in our case, uh, in our Affiliator program, we pay 40% commissions. So uh, we have a star affiliate sitting right here, who is Amit, okay. Uh, he actually goes ahead and promotes through YouTube, which is also a source of traffic. So every time Amit makes a sale, we actually pay him 40% of the commissions of the entire course program fee. Okay, so that's called CPS. So when you make a sale for the business, you get paid in terms of commissions. Okay, and then we have the last model, which is hybrid. There are certain other models as well, but we're going to keep it limited to the basics today. Okay, so uh, hybrid, next, that's the next model. Hybrid is in format of leads plus sales. Okay, so a lot of times what happens, let's say uh, there is a new company in town and they are launching a particular product. Again, okay, they're actually doing something, some sort of, let's say, webinar uh, to spread awareness. Okay, so now the offer says whenever you send X leads for the webinar, उस वेबिनार पे जितने भी आप अटेंडेंस साइन अप करवाएंगे ठीक है आपको उनके लिए पेमेंट मिलेगा सो कमीशन यू विल गेट कमीशन फॉर ईच साइन अप प्लस अगर कोई सेल होती है उन सारे लोगों में से जिनको आपने भेजा उनमें से अगर कोई प्रोडक्ट परचेस करता है एट द वेबिनार इफ समबडी परचेसेस अ प्रोडक्ट एट द वेबिनार सेंड बाय यू देन यू आर आल्सो गोइंग टू गेट पेड फॉर दैट सेल अ सर्टेन पार्ट ऑफ Commission or certain commission, whatever it it may be, fifty percent, forty percent, thirty percent, ten percent, five percent, two percent, even you know we get to pay two percent as well. Uh, in I think tech tech part in e-commerce, if you go to Amazon and try to promote a tech product, the commission percentage is plus two percent. Okay, so it's a variation. Some some offers would pay you even ninety percent commission. Some would pay you two percent as well. So it's it's up to you what you choose and what you want to drive. Okay, so that's called a hybrid model. You get paid for leads as well, and you get paid for sales as well. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. So before I actually, you know, move to the next slide, I would like to show you something. I requested this specifically so that I can show you live. But I think so. The screen is not visible. No worries. I'll just put put the screenshot from the live chat into the PC game or whatever. Just give me a second. So what I wanted to show you, and what what I'm going to show you right now, is uh, one of the live stats for our dashboard of what we do as affiliate marketing. Okay, so that you can get an idea of how this entire things work and what is the potential, eventually what's the potential, right? Everybody wants to know the potential before somebody gets into the field. So I'll just quick, a quick, quick little screenshot. Yeah, so you have it. All right, so I have the screenshot with me. So this is actually a, a live screenshot which I have taken just now from one of our dashboards uh, from one of the affiliate networks. 
okay, where we actually work or where we actually promote our offers. So this is a screenshot from Daily Brew. And if you could say yesterday, uh, there are 10 sales of one of the products uh, by the name Extempore. It's a mobile application that lets you deliver uh, you know, confident speeches or selfie mode speeches with the help of a teleprompter right in front of the screen on your mobile. Okay, so that's what we were promoting. So this is a live example of uh, what kind of you know, things you can expect. Okay, so now these numbers right now where you see $253, that's our commission, per day commission, okay? And where you see gross revenue, $507, that's the amount of revenue we've sent to the vendor or to the product owner or the business person or the advertiser, okay? So now these, these stats keeps on changing depending on product to product. But this is just an example. This is a live example, all right? So let's move forward. Now, Normally, generally, when I actually show these screenshots, a lot of people uh, who are actually sitting in here as well also have seen these screenshots in the past. And generally, the screenshot would, uh, you know, vary from uh, $1,000 to $5,000 a day. Okay, and then as soon as people see this, there is a mindset. Uh, there is a mindset thing which comes into picture and which says, this is a money-making machine. Okay. Somebody sitting at their home and sending, uh, I mean, just doing not much of an effort and earning that kind of money. But that's, but that's not true, okay? That's a short-term mindset. Now, when we talk about this, as soon as, you know, you see these things and you hear about affiliate marketing, you have some certain kind of practices in mind. And you're thinking, okay, God have told me right now we have to promote an offer, right? And this is what Saurabh did. This is what Roshni did, right? This is what Rahul did. So how are we going to do it? We're going to go ahead and now, you know, we're going to spam on every Facebook group possible. We're going to put our links, our unique affiliate links on every group possible. We're going to spam people on WhatsApp, on Telegram, on Snapchat, on Instagram. You can name any platform, right? So that's how it, a picture starts formulating in your head, okay? We will start commenting our, with our affiliate links on various posts on Facebook, on ads which are popular, right, with the viral videos. And, you know, we would actually go ahead with, to any length possibility just to get that particular lead, particular sale, the first dollar which you want to go ahead and earn on that. But that's a short term mindset. All these things which you see here, nothing works. Okay? So if you're developing a picture of that sort, please refrain from doing these activities. So, as Nishkarsh rightly pointed out in the last presentation, that it, the mindset has to be in a manner that you've considered this as your business. It's, it's your brainchild. It's your business, right? It's your child. So you need to make sure that you nourish this business every single day and in different ways possible, in smarter ways possible, which can help you become a long-term affiliate marketer. So how many of you now would like to know the strategies which I have been using, or we, you know, as, an, as a company have been using for the last five years to make minimum of $10,000 per month. How many of you want to know it? Give me a yes or no. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. So this is our $100,000 affiliate marketing formula. It's a pretty simple blueprint. Just like any other model, you know, you could break things down into a particular pattern which works, and you can follow that pattern to achieve success just like we do. And the formula says, step number one, choose a profitable niche. Niche is nothing but, you know, what kind of product are you looking to get into, what kind of segment you're looking to get into. For example, kuch log e -com affiliate karte hai. Some people would do SaaS affiliate, Kuch log courses vejte hai, kuch log, you know, uh, would get into loan or, 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 or payday loans is very popular in US. Okay. Kuch log neutra karte hai. So there are different, different kinds of niches jo online available. Profitable niche kaise hum choose karte hai? Is cheese pe hum aayenge. Okay. But let's first go through the blueprint. Second is choose an offer. Okay. Aapne niche choose kara, usme aapne offer choose kara, jo aapko laga ki is going to give you more. EPCs. Then you're going to make a funnel. Then you're going to go ahead and test it with free traffic. Okay. 
and then you're going to scale with paid traffic and once you've hit the success, you're going to rinse and repeat. So that's actually the formula, okay? So if you want to click a picture, you can, but we're going to repeat the steps, of course. So let's talk about this, okay, so let me now explain one by one. Profitable niche, what simple hota hai, choose karna. Uh, certain factors hai, hum profitable niche mein dekhte hai. For example, number one thing which we'll see is, ki product ki demand hai ki nahi. That's the number first thing. Is the product in demand or not? Okay, if the product is in demand, good. How do you find out is if, it, if a product is in demand or not? Just go to Quora, Quora.com, heard of it? See, if people are asking questions about that particular thing, product or service, that means that it has demand. Second place you can verify the demand is, you can go to Amazon.in or .com if you are going for a foreign offer. And you can see if there are certain products in, on Amazon.com or .in which is selling and has higher ratings or rather number of ratings. The number of ratings would decide that whether there is enough demand or not. If there is demand, then you can sell it, okay? No matter the competition, if there is demand, you can sell it, okay? I'll tell you how you can sell it at a later stage. Next, you have to choose an offer. Second step is cho choose an offer. Now there is something written over here which says high EPCs, okay? I'll break it down for you. EPC stands for earnings per click. Okay, earnings per click and click means whenever somebody clicks on your unique affiliate link that becomes a click all right so any offer when you search in the marketplaces or networks you go to the affiliate network like uh, you go to we commission or you go to clickbank or you go to jvzoo or you go to peerfly or, or you go to max bounty or any other affiliate network these are all affiliate networks all right so you go to any affiliate network and you search an offer and then there would be a term called as EPC and you'll be able to see what's the EPC for that particular product. Now if the EPC, you know, really depends from uh, product price, okay, from offer to offer, what's the product price, but generally if there is a product which is costing $27 to $47, anything above $5 EPC is great. $5 means you know, you could see in India, we don't have certain advanced systems which will actually tell you the EPCs, but if you go into foreign networks, every network has an EPC, all right? So if the EPC is above $5, it's a good offer to choose. If it is less than $2, it's a bad offer to choose. And if it's between $2 and $5, it's a decent offer to choose. Is this clear? Is this clear? Is this boring? No. All right, so we break the pattern. Next thing is you make a funnel, we'll come back to that, okay? Okay, let's go to that, the funnel. So, funnel, how many of you are aware of the term funnel? Okay, a lot of people I see are not aware of the term funnel. So funnel kya hota hai, jaise, our product is our product. You have a product, for example, I want to sell, uh, let's say, I want to sell BMW car, right? I know that a luxury car is, I cannot just go to door to door, uh, you know, and say, hey, are you interested in buying BMW? <laughs> the person is going to say, do I look like I am interested? <laughs> right. So what happens is there is a methodology, you know, in selling something or everything rather, there is a methodology which has to be developed, right? And which comes by practice, of course. So the different kinds of funnels which could be used, but for, uh, a very generic example which a lot of people would be aware of is called uh, the McDonald's funnel. If you may have heard of, they'll, what they do is in McDonald's, whenever you go, uh, you try to go ahead and, you know, you are offered something called as a aloo tikki burger which costs you 25 rupees, perhaps more now, right? So, aloo tikki burger ke saath aapko wo thoda aur sell out karne ki koshish karte hai, which is called an upsell, chik, and they will try to give you more things in terms of price, coke, we call it a meal, right? And then they will also put some 
more, uh, you know, cream on top by saying, we have a new arrival. Would you like to try it? <laughs> Who says no to that, right? <laughs> new things. So uh, similarly, BMW example. So what will happen in BMW part? Now there, there would be a process to actually filter the bias, potential bias. And the way they will do it is, they'll first have, you know, a test drive available. You go ahead, go to the showroom of BMW, you go to and do a test drive. In certain cases, they'll also do a background check before you actually do a test drive. <laughs> because they don't want to waste their time, right? That's their funnel, okay? So now coming back to one of the case studies which we did, or which I did perhaps, is, uh, you know, these are the two funnels which I do normally and which are very famous as well with my students. One is membership lock-in and second is bonus withdrawal. Okay, we teach this in, in one of our courses as well, which is Accelerator. These are two funnels out of the six we teach. So, membership lock-in. What is this membership lock-in? So let's say, I want to go ahead and sell guitar. So since I play guitar, I'm fond of it, so I'll give you that example. I want to go ahead and sell guitar. Now, what I'll do is I'll not go ahead and open a shop outside and you know sit on the market and say people will come and buy from me. So rather what I'll do is I'll use a smarter strategy. I'll build a membership. I'll build a membership in which what I will be doing is I will be teaching the basics of guitar. Okay? I'll be teaching the basics of guitar. Ki aapko guitar mein agar interest hai, to Kya kya basics hote hai? Jase guitar ke andar, whenever you hold a guitar, or even before holding a guitar, sabse pehle baat aegi ki, you know, music kya hota hai, right? I'll put that as basics. Second lesson, thik hai, ki aapko kis type ka guitar is, you know, would suit you? What type of guitar would, would be perfect for you? What brand of guitar would be a good fit as per my recommendation? Okay? And when you're learning, from somebody who's teaching you, perhaps if you go, let's say you go out or you go online, how many of you, you know, have learned things online first? Learned anything online? Could be even, you know, as simple as cooking something, right? Cooking Maggie, for example. <laughs> that doesn't need learning though. <laughs> yeah. So, somebody comes in and says, okay, I want to learn guitar. He goes ahead, he sees the lesson. In the second lesson, we are recommending that go for the Yamaha guitar. Because that's what I have been playing for the past five years and it sounds really great. The grip is so amazing. The, the, the notes play so well. So when, I'm, when your instructor says you to buy a Yamaha guitar, what would you do? And if the instructor uses his affiliate link, would you still buy it? Perhaps, yes. So is that a funnel? Now do you understand membership lock-in? So you build a membership, okay, and you build a small course around certain product, and then in that course is what you're recommending is what most people are going to buy. Okay, and then this course is going to be actually advertised on Facebook, on YouTube, on Google, display, or whatever sources of traffic you can use, traffic as in people who could come who would be interested to actually learn this course, right? So, normally we'll build a simple landing page, we'll collect leads, and we'll let the flow happen, okay? So this is one of my actual true case studies, uh, has, you know, which is an SMM course. I, I'm not sure if some of you have even taken it. So I've built an SM, free SMM course, okay? And in that free SMM course, I'm teaching people how to do social media marketing. Simple. Now, after somebody enrolls into that social media marketing course, three days after the person has enrolled, they would there would be a sales sequence that triggers, and which sells one of my Instagram marketing training, which is a low ticket offer, low ticket as in which is like a 99 rupees offer. Okay, just to break that curtain from free to paid. And that particular offer has seen 
80,000 eyes so far. So that means 40,000 people. 40,000 people have taken that course, okay, that free SMM course, and till date, every single day, hundreds of new people are joining in. That's where the term evergreen comes into picture. That course was built in 2018, not 18, I, I remember 17. It's still, it's two years old course and it still goes strong. So the work which was done in 2017 still pays me dividends even today. Okay? So that's the beauty of evergreen. Funnel. So now everybody understands funnels? Yeah. Okay. I get it. Right? So that's one of the funnels. Now I'll talk about the second funnel, which is pretty interesting and pretty amazing as well. So, okay. So this is a kind of a blueprint of the funnel. So you could go ahead and, you know, you could have a lead capture page where you're just saying learn free. Learn guitar for free, for example. Learn SMM, social media marketing for free by, you could say first name, whatever your name is, right? Then you collect the leads. Then it says run AR sequence. For the people who are not familiar with this term, there is something called as an autoresponder. Okay, whenever you subscribe to somebody, somebody's updates, normally you receive emails from them, right? Do you receive emails from people you subscribe to? So the tool which is used to send those emails by the person whom you subscribe, okay? So that is called an autoresponder. And that term AR stands for autoresponder, okay? There are certain tools you can use, namely Aweber, ActiveCampaign, GetResponse. You may have even heard of these terms, okay? Now once it says run AR sequence. The sequence stands for the content which is delivered in the emails to the subscriber after one has subscribed. Okay, so we build, let's say I build a 90 day advance, in advance, like there's a 90 day journey which I planned for my subscriber. He goes through a 90 day email sequence. So that's called an AR sequence. Okay. So you do that run AR, AR sequence and there is something called as remarketing. There's something called as remarketing. How many of you have experienced that you go to Amazon or Flipkart or Snapdeal or any other website, you browse a product and suddenly, like you didn't purchase that product, you were just like window shopping, right? Suddenly a lot of ads would start showing you up in your feed, in your YouTube channel, in, 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 the, in the games you play, in the apps you use. Happened with you? Yes. That's called remarketing. Okay? That's called remarketing. So, we also go ahead and do remarketing of the offers we want to promote to our existing subscribers. Okay? That's how easy it is. And then, you know, uh, this is the entire process basically. You keep, once you've set up the funnel, it's like a never ending funnel that will pay you even after 50 years if you just do certain bit of changes. Now next funnel which is very interesting and very good is actually called the bonus funnel. Now let's assume you did all this effort and you built a membership around a certain product or service for that matter. Okay. And you collected so many leads. For example, I collected 40,000 leads. Now all these people I've actually gone ahead and let's say not all these people, let's say 10 to 15 or 20 percent people have purchased the Yamaha guitar. Okay? Now these people will, when these people will play guitar, would they need certain other accessories? Right? What kinds of accessories? The cover, the strings, the capo, right? And perhaps a lot of them would advance in a manner that they're ready for the electric guitar or perhaps another form of guitar, right? The bass guitar, electric guitar, and there's so many forms. Now, what do you do with these leads? 
affiliate marketing, you actually go ahead and mail them more offers which they can subscribe to. Will they also be interested in something like torrents.com membership? Torrents.com is a service which gives you step by step detailed tutorials of each new song that comes into the market. Okay? And if now you're selling membership, you're going to earn on yearly recurring basis. Okay, so there is a thing in between. So there is a thing in between, which is called bonus. So what is this bonus? So guys, this bonus is very, very important part of your affiliate marketing journey with the existing subscribers which you have. Now let's say, as you, as we were talking about guitar. So I have a question for you. Are you the only person who's going to recommend them the guitar accessories? Why would they buy from you? Let's say, you know, 5% people are emotional and they like, you know, in your death that you taught them the basics of guitar and they bought it from you. What about the remaining 95%? They're not emotional, right? They're more price sensitive. Right? So what we do is we give them a a bonus. We give them a bonus. If you buy from my unique link, I am going to give you so and so extra thing. It could be a webinar session. It could be an advanced guitar lesson, you know, for example, in ter terms of guitar. Or it could be a free, uh, you know, another free course which teaches you the basics of, let's say, bass guitar. Okay. So you have to think of a bonus which would actually relate to the product. Okay. And you have to offer that to your subscribers so that nobody else can actually offer this bonus and so that they buy from you. You basically, you know, you cut out the competition from the very bottom. You get that? So now, your leads from membership, lock-in, and other sources, some things that missing from the product or some things that can be associated with the product which you're promoting as a bonus, and then you start recommending them offer one, offer two, perhaps offer three. But again, remember, this is not a money-making machine. If you keep doing this in a very sequential manner, like every day you're recommending them offers and everything, so the people are going to not really like you that much. Because they'll say, Gaurav always says buy this, buy that. Why is he after our money? What does he need? Doesn't he get enough? Right? So what you do is, in between of these offers, make sure you go ahead and give them some free value. That is where things like a YouTube video, a podcast, a blog post, an article which you may like or which they like, you know, come into picture. Mail them these things in between so that they're connected with you, they are indebted by you because you are actually turning out to be a good mentor instead of a money-seeking freak. All right. So uh, that's all for the presentation, by the way. So do you have any questions? If you have, uh, perhaps, we, can we take the questions now? Or later? Okay. All right. Awesome. So, thank you so much. That's all. That's me.